News Talk 1110 WBT. I'm Bo Thompson with the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Thank you for being with me. Thank you very much, Bo. It's an honor. Welcome back to Charlotte. What a week to be at the end of the week in Charlotte after uh, a week for the ages for you, right? Well, you got me at a very good time. That's why you're paid so much money, I guess. <laughs> you can get them at the right time. But I'm here and it's, uh, you know, it's been a great state. North Carolina has been a great state for us. And we're having the convention here, as you know, in August, and we look forward to it. They wanted it badly. A lot of cities wanted it because it's a lot of economic development, a lot of jobs. So for all of these big conventions, you know, they, they want to have them. But this is going to be a big one. This is going to be a beauty. And uh, we chose your state, your city. I've done well here. I like it. It's a great place. I know so many people here. We have tremendous friendships. We won the state. Perhaps that has something to do, but we won it. Uh, in you know pretty easy fashion. I hear we're up much higher now than we were even at election day, so that's good. We had a good week. Uh, the impeachment hoax ended, and we have uh, just a lot of good things are happening. The State of the Union on Tuesday night, uh, you awarded Rush Limbaugh with that uh, Presidential Medal of Freedom. Uh, Rush Limbaugh has been on WBT for almost three decades. And I'd love to uh, to know the background, a little bit of behind the scenes of how you uh, made that decision and, and how it came to be and how he reacted. Well, I will tell you, so Rush is uh, the biggest of all time when you think about it. Many, many millions of people a day. Nobody can do what he does. He speaks for three hours and no phone calls, no anything. You know how tough a business it is, right? And you, know, you have so many millions of people. But from the day I ran, I came down the escalator with our future first lady and Rush was saying such great things. And I didn't know Rush at that time other than I knew him by reputation. And he was number one by a lot, always has been, I guess, pretty much. And he was saying these great things. Then I got to know him. He went all in right at the beginning. He went all in. He agreed with everything I was talking about, whether it was immigration, whether it was Second Amendment, everything I talked about, he agreed with military. We have to fix our military. We did that cutting taxes. We did that uh, so many other things. And I kept hearing about Rush that he was, you know, just for me. And over the time, I got to know him a little bit. Then I got to know him a lot. He's an incredible guy. He's going through a, a rough spell right now, as you know. It was uh, uh, announced with lung cancer. But he's being treated, and hopefully he's going to be okay. But he is an incredible guy, and I know he's uh, with you. You're in a little slightly different time, but he's, he's going to be a tough one. I think that Rush will... He's such a strong guy, he's going to beat whatever it is. We hope he does. But, you know, he's got a very serious problem with that. Yes, sir. Uh, at that speech, uh, we all saw what happened behind you at the very end of it. I am curious, uh, you didn't see it because you were looking forward. Uh, I imagine you got out of the chamber and and uh, eventually you saw it on a phone or something. How did you first learn about that, and, and what was your initial gut reaction? Well, I didn't hear it either. You know, normally you can hear somebody ripping up that much paper, but... <laughs> I didn't hear it. It's an important document. It was really, she's not allowed to do it. It's a criminal event. She's not allowed to do that. But uh, she is uh, very sad, if you want to know the truth. When you think about it, it's sad. But I didn't see it. I was looking forward. It was the end. Everybody was, when I say everybody, a big portion of that room was going crazy. And the other por portion sits very quietly and still and anger, a lot of anger. But success is bringing everyone around. I mean, you see, we've never been this successful. We've never had a country this successful. We're number one in the world by far. If the opponent got in, uh, China would have overtaken us, and now we're way ahead of China and doing really well. We made our China deal. We made our USMCA Japan deal. We're taking in $40 billion from Japan. They never paid us 10 cents. Uh, South Korea and many others. So, you know, we're just doing great. I think success brings it all together because ultimately that's what it's about, jobs and safety and all of the things that we provide. Well, we look forward to seeing you in several months and uh, the convention, uh, your second time around. Uh, is, is this one going to be different than the first now that you're the president? Well, we had our choice of going first or second because I'm president and we chose second, which is good. I think going, being the second one out of the box is probably better. Uh, but I just, you know, I love the state and we're here for that reason. And Charlotte's been good. You know, they really, and they really did. They worked hard to get it. So many people did, but they really worked hard to get it. So this is what we uh, we did. We made this choice. Mr. President, thank you very much for uh, your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's an honor to be with you. Thank you very much. News